Peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers, we are out here chillaxing in the heart of nature, baby. Can you hear that call from the universe? Ring, ring. Yes, the universe is attempting to contact you right now. Please pick up. 10 signs the universe is trying to tell you something. Let's just, woo. Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. So I got a great question that came in. If you've got a question, don't email. Don't email. I get thousands there. The best place, head over to Instagram right now and add me at Infinite Waters. I'll answer as many as I can. Someone asked Ralph, yes, how do you know the universe is trying to contact you, to communicate with you? What are some of the signs? Deep divers. Ever wake up one day and think someone's talking to you and it just might be the universe and we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> the universe is trying to warn you about something. The universe is a great messenger and we are the universe because we are made of stardust. However, the universe works in mysterious ways. It works through people it works in objects. It is all around us, trying to help us in every second, trying to send us messages in every single second. And right now on the planet, there is a massive, beautiful awakening happening. The first sign <laughs> the universe is trying to tell you something is that you have this increased intuition intuition emanating from the latin intuary which means to notice you are noticing so many things okay and the universe is telling you right now that you are growing in awareness you are growing in consciousness we are approaching the age of aquarius the hidden is coming to light and you've got the eyes to see it slow motion this side thank goodness for that your eyes are opening, your mind is expanding, and you are, uh-oh, you're feeling into things right now. You feel people's energies right now. You're like, actually, I'm not going to go there right now because I'm trusting my intuition. My intuition is growing. Trust your vibes, okay? You are having an increased amount of intuition right now and the universe is telling you that your mind your consciousness is expanding and you should be proud of yourself frankly what's the second sign the universe is trying to tell you something okay triggers that's right you get triggered easily you care way too much what people think about you i don't like you <gasps> Are you trying to diss me? Are you trying to tell me something? I don't like that. <laughs> you got triggered. You see, the universe works through other people. Sometimes people tell me stuff and I'm like, who are you talking to? Don't you know who I am? Hold me back, cat down the road. <laughs> I got triggered. Okay, because ultimately you have to take responsibility for your internal condition. Nobody can make you feel a certain way without your permission. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. So the universe is trying to tell you if you are getting triggered, if you're caring way too much what people think, okay, the universe is trying to tell you to take a look within yourself to say, okay, why am I externalizing my power to strangers? I don't even know, okay? Do whatever you want. Forget about society's expectations, okay? So anytime I'm caring way too much what people think, the universe is trying to tell me that, Ralph, it's because maybe they've got a little bit of a point. Oh my gosh! Don't worry about it, Ralph, okay? I've got to start taking a look within. What's the third sign? The universe is trying to contact you. It's trying to tell you something. Now, reckless accidents. Now, I was on my iPhone 
walking down the stairs and I'm like totally not concentrating and I slip and I actually twist this baby finger ouch and yeah it pretty much like snaps it bends thank goodness I do yoga so I just put it back into place like get back into place ouch it was painful but the universe was trying to tell me that I had just caused a reckless accident to myself because I wasn't paying attention. So the lesson there for me was, Ralph, focus on going down the stairs, okay? Now accidents can happen to any of us, the best of us, okay? And sometimes when we have these accidents, we think it's something personal. For me, the universe was trying to tell me, and by the way, we are not separate from the universe, okay? The universe was trying to tell me, pay attention, be in the present moment. Because so many times, let's face it, we're texting, then we're eating, then we're walking down the stairs, and that's how accidents happen. Sometimes you're even driving, and you're not even concentrating, okay? You're watching an Infinite Waters video, and you really should be paying attention to what's happening, okay? So the universe was telling me, just focus, Ralph, focus, focus on the here and now. Then the rest will take care of itself, okay? Now, <laughs> what's the fourth sign the universe is trying to tell you something? Repeating numbers. I meet a lot of people who see 1111. 222, 333. Okay, the universe is trying to tell you that you are in alignment. The number one, meaning a new beginning. Meaning a new beginning. Many times, people who see 1111, it's at a time when they are going through a massive spiritual awakening. You are waking up from the deep sleep. The world <laughs> that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are an infinite being with unlimited power and potential. It's time to wake up from the matrix, okay? The universe is trying to tell you that. That, hey, these repeating numbers, one, 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 one. What are the chances of you seeing one, 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 one every single day? Well, people write to me and they tell me about their experiences. And I see it too, these repeating numbers. And I'm like, okay, one and zero. This is the language of computers, binary. So we are starting to realize that reality is one massive simulation. It's just like a computer program. That means if this is a video game, I can do what I want to. Can I get a hello there? The universe is trying to tell you, you can create your own reality. That this universe is built on divine mathematics. The numbers don't lie. Keep seeing 1111, 222, 333 is showing you that you are in alignment, baby. It's time to do a little samba. What's the fifth sign? <laughs> the universe is trying to tell you something. Seven day vegan challenge. Now, I want to give a special shout out to Dr. Sebi, S-E-B-I. If you don't know who he is, this is a guy who cured AIDS, cancer, phenomenal, a phenomenal healer who really helped me along my early journey. And he was talking about how mucus is the number one cause of all disease, okay? So when I was starting to listen to him, this was many, many years ago, okay? Over a decade ago, okay? I wasn't eating the best, okay? I was eating French fries, pork chops, drinking soda, okay, potato chips, greasy foods, and I didn't feel good. In fact, I was constipated. Yeah, and the cat down the road was taking a selfie of me. Gosh, look. <laughs> I was sick, and the universe was trying to tell me that if you don't change your life, in terms of what you are eating, you won't be here for long. So thank goodness for people like Dr. Sebi, and he really helped me realize that we have to be eating more electrical foods, avocados, spinach, leafy greens, okay, pumpkin seeds, butternut squash, okay, hemp seeds, okay? We have to be eating life to get life, okay? So when I was not really caring about what I was putting into my mouth, the universe was telling me, because I was feeling sick, 
when you don't feel well, that's a message from the universe that, hey, you got a choice. You can start stuffing a whole load of grapes in your mouth and be healthy, or you can stay constipated. You don't really want to stay constipated, do you? I thought not. What's the sixth sign? <laughs> the sixth sign. The universe is trying to tell you something. Universe, please don't try. Do. That's better. Okay. They play it on the radio. Have you heard that song? They play it on the radio when you think about it. Deep divers, have you experienced this phenomena? You're in the car, you turn on the radio, and the lyrics match exactly what you are thinking of. Like, I was thinking of some beautiful red grapes, and I hear Adele singing about, I love grapes, and I'm, oh my, what, what are the chances of that, okay? Beautiful synchronicity, where your dominant thoughts, synchronicity is where your dominant thoughts align with your life and become your dominant experiences. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. <laughs> and it usually happens when we turn on the radio. Try it today. Think about something and then be aware of the lyrics. And oftentimes, if it matches, the universe is trying to tell you that you are in alignment because the universe works through other people and your favorite song. Your favorite song, right? What's the seventh? <laughs> the seventh sign the universe is trying to tell you something. Baby, baby. Dreams. I'm gonna do a whole video on dreams, but like, if you are dreaming of your ex, the universe is trying to tell you that you maybe got some unfinished business. I dreamt of my ex and I'm like, oh my gosh, I really loved her, right? <laughs> yes, if you are dreaming of winning the lottery, it's probably because you're broke. I'm just kidding. Look, if you are dreaming <laughs> about traveling the whole world, it's probably because that's what you should be doing. So the universe communicates to us in our dreams. The dreams we have are reflections of the life we live. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> if you just had a nightmare, the universe is trying to tell you Stop watching so many scary movies or maybe it's time to stop living at such a low frequency where undesirable entities exist. Okay, there was a time when I wasn't in tune with myself. I wasn't in tune with myself and I would go to bed and dream of like monsters and gremlins and it was all because the life I was living was very toxic, okay? Once I changed, I'm living a lot better now, got into nature, did a little samba, I started to dream of unicorns and grapes and I can live with that. <laughs> What's the eighth sign the universe is trying to tell you something? now? Before this video, there was a ant. I have a microphone right here, okay? There was an ant on the microphone. The universe is trying to tell you something when you see tiny insects and animals, okay? And you're aware of what they're doing. I'm like seeing this ant crawl on the microphone and I'm like, it's so tiny, but it's showing me that all life is sacred. It's showing me that Ralph, you don't know anything. You think you know a lot, but Ralph, you don't know anything because I'm a tiny little ant. I'm a tiny little ant. Okay, but in my eyes, everything is so massive, right? I was also in nature yesterday and I saw a bird just hovering in the air. And I'm like, it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Now, growing up, my sister and I, we would see magpies, okay? And one magpie was good luck. Two magpies was something good is gonna happen and three magpies was bad luck, okay? So we always used to see like one magpie because sometimes three would be there but we wouldn't focus on the other two, right? <laughs> we wouldn't focus on three. We'll only focus on one, okay? That's good luck, right? So the universe is talking to us through animals. Do you love your dog? Yes, Ralph, of course I love my dog, okay? 
your dog has a message for you from the universe that you better start taking it for a walk. Stop being lazy, okay? No, animals are sentient beings. And that's why I've been a vegan for over 13 years because I realized that when I'm with a cat down the road, when I'm with a dog, when I'm with a lizard, when I'm with a snake, when I'm with an orangutan, a bat, whatever animal it is, I'm like, this is divine intelligence. And I can learn from an elephant. I can learn from a leopard. I can learn from the Black Panther. This is Wakanda, <laughs> right? I can learn from all beautiful animals because I say animals are our teachers, right? Animals are our teachers. What say it again, Ralph? Animals are our teachers, okay? They are always in the present moment. Look at your dog right now. It's in the present moment while you're thinking of you're thinking of something that hasn't even happened yet. So you can learn from animals. They are your greatest teachers. Okay, and that's what the universe is trying to tell me. What is <laughs> the ninth sign the universe is trying to tell you something? Now, unexpected delays. I was in Cape Verde Islands, okay? Cape Verde Islands. Beautiful island, okay? And paradise, okay? I was with my partner. And guess what? It was delayed my ex-partner <laughs> yes you remember if you're watching this you remember what happened the flight was delayed on the way back so we had to stay on the island for an extra one week which was fantastic the only thing though i had to get back because i had to start working this was when i used to work okay in a regular job and i'm like oh my gosh i'm gonna probably lose my job even though I'm in paradise okay but these unexpected delays and sometimes it happens you miss your flight you arrive you arrive at the airport late and you're like really angry with yourself and whatever is happening to you it doesn't look good right now okay and you're mad at the universe so the universe is telling me whenever these unexpected delays happen roadblocks you're stuck in traffic okay and the radio doesn't work and someone's yelling at you from the side and hooting at you from the back. Oh my gosh, Ralph, stop, okay. <laughs> the universe is trying to tell you to be patient, right? Because you have to learn patience. And I had to learn patience that sometimes life isn't gonna go your way because you need sometimes roadblocks, delays to really appreciate what you have right now. Mm. Slow motion this side, mm. okay. So be thankful for roadblocks and closed doors because they keep you away. They keep you away from places not meant for you. How about that? And what's the 10th sign? The universe is trying to tell you something, baby, baby. People change. Ever been around someone, they're really friendly, then they grow really cold. Unreliable people, okay? The universe is trying to tell you that People will change. They can love you one day and hate you the next. Hey, that's human beings for you, okay? But also, now I had to go to the post office before I was making this video to drop something off. And a woman told me, she said, if you park there, you're gonna get a ticket. So, and she was homeless, all right? And I'm like, thank you so much. So I gave her a good contribution for helping me not get a ticket, because I'm like, thank you so much like other people weren't even telling me stuff so sometimes the people that you think won't help you because they've got problems of their own will actually be the ones that helped you in the end mm. slow motion this side mm. the people who say oh i love you so much i love you so much when things get a little bit hard even in relationships ever been with someone they're like i love you you're the only one for me and then the next time the next day when you break up they don't even care anymore <laughs> i feel crushed I, I love you right people change right <laughs> so i realize the universe is trying to tell me that don't just think because someone says they love you they actually do talk is cheap don't tell me you love me show me how about that
So those are the 10 signs the universe is trying to tell you something. Once again, we are the universe. We are made from the same fabric as the universe. However, the universe works through people, objects and things. And there are universal, universal messages everywhere you look. There's one there, there's one there, and there's one there. And then you'll just say, Feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> beautiful deep divers. Have a beautiful day. We're just... Woo! Breathing in that good-ass prana, baby. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. You? <laughs> what the hell is that? That's another message. The universe is trying to tell me to come to nature earlier. Thank you, universe. 